Hi everyone, just a quick video before the start of the weekend. About a year ago I made a video about how long it takes to brute force certain passwords and uh, this is a more updated version of uh, 2022. Uh, of course hardware uh, goes faster, uh, more advanced, more computing power. So this is basically the status of what it is at the present day when it comes to brute forcing passwords. Um, and you might heard of terms like rainbow tables or dictionary attacks. Um, I can do separate videos on that as well. But just to keep this video uh, quick and simple, this is an overview of how long it takes to crack certain passwords. And the complexity of passwords makes it more difficult to brute force them. So uh, lowercase, uh, uh, uppercase characters, uh, symbols, letters, uh, maybe spaces in between, it all makes um, it makes the hacker or the tools that the hacker used, that's how I should put it, um, it will take more time to guess the password. So for myself, I always uh, use a minimum of uh, 10 characters and uh, most of the time I use 20 characters because if you use a password manager, basically you just set it to uh, 20 characters, uppercase, lowercase, all the stuff that we talked about, and it can generate a password. And I don't even know the password. The only password I need to remember is how to unlock the password safe. And that one is complicated enough, um, basically. So that's the only password I need to remember. So there's not a lot of work in making it 10 to 20 characters long because I'm not going to remember it anyway. Uh, my computer and the web servers or SaaS application needs to remember it. But it's very important, like the more characters, the better. Uh, I, I would also suggest you use a um, password manager like, for instance, KeePass, which is multi-platform. Um, just use 15 characters, uppercase, lowercase, spaces, special uh, characters and symbols, uh, everything to make it more difficult to brute force, basically. So you see there's a couple of um, uh, co here combinations that can be instantly cracked. And instantly really means like I let the, the uh, tool guess this password and within a second I have the password guessed and it, 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 you know you can enter the web servers. So even when you have uh, numbers, uppercase, lowercase letters and symbols up to six characters uh, that this is the most complicated form of a password. And so six characters can be guessed instantly. Seven characters, 31. So, and here we jump between eight and nine characters. We jump from uh, about 40 minutes to two days, five months, 34 years. So, I mean, I'm I'm 37 now. It's, it's, it's crazy to think that a computer has to day and night think for 34 years to crack a password of 11 characters. And... Uh, with today's standards, I would say that's kind of low. <clears throat> of course, when you need to remember all these passwords, then it's easier to uh, have between five to eight characters. Yes. But if you don't need to remember then, uh, you only need to remember one password. That's, uh, that's good. Um, and you store them all in a, in a safe vault. Just, just use 20 characters. The only limitation you will run into in, in real life is basically the application not accepting anything over 20 characters because the, the application wasn't written that way. So the more characters, the, the, the more different kind of characters you can combine all in one password, the better it's going to be. Um, so we're talking about here 202,000 two years. I mean, that's that's all ridiculous. I would I would say... 15 characters is the sweet spot and you see even when you have 15 characters and numbers only it still takes half an hour to crack and then when you add some lowercase letters or not lowercase just lowercase letters is already 100 years but the interesting thing and again i can't stress this enough the combination of numbers uppercase lowercase letters special symbols spaces all this kind of stuff that makes for the most complicated password and that's uh, what makes it very difficult to brute force a password so if you don't use a password manager yet and you don't want to spend any money and you don't want to um, have your passwords ending up somewhere in a cloud just use a local password manager 
you create a database uh, and when you install the application the database is already correct uh, um, it's already created for you so you don't need to do it yourself it all sounds very technical but there's one file there that you should store to a USB drive or external hard drive or whatever uh, and, and do that a couple of times a year. Uh, worst case, you leave the, uh, um, you leave, you lose the database and then at every web service you need to say forget my password and they send you a new link and you can, um, you can use a new password and you start all over again. So you won't lose access if you lose that database but if you update that database from time to time you should also copy it and store it somewhere that's the only remark um, but i use computers since the mid 90s and i only had two hard disk crashes and those hard disk crashes were um, related to a computer that was very busy and the hard drive um, was really very actively uh, used if you use a computer like nowadays like you barely write anything to the hard drive and when it's a new computer you can be sure that for the next five years nothing will happen depending on the usage of you um, but always make sure a usb drive costs nothing nowadays just have one usb drive uh, that you just purely use to uh, store the database of your password manager um, as an extra tip so um, yeah that's all for today i wish you guys have a great weekend uh, and um, we hope to see you guys in the next one thanks for watching